How do you make an educational presentation way more engaging than it actually is? How'd you do that? Honestly, that success is not something you pursue. It is something you are. You've probably seen plenty of educational presentations and you're sitting there just nodding off, just bored as all hell. And you're wondering, okay, if I was there, if I was giving an educational presentation, how do I make it more engaging? First thing, you wanna make sure that you're aware of the context because everything that I'm about to say, it's not gonna matter if the context doesn't fit with it. So if you're in a business meeting, then you're obviously not gonna be this showmanship, you're not gonna be Michael Jackson in a business meeting and doing all this crazy stuff, moonwalk and all that stuff. Uh, you're not gonna be doing all that. If it's a keynote speech and you're giving like a keynote speech, now you wanna add some more showmanship to it. Now you have to actually think like a showman. And what, I'm, what do I mean by that? Uh, think like Michael Jackson. So, or any concert, any big time event, You'll notice that they, they make things bigger. I mean, these guys, Michael Jackson, he was a showman. I mean, that guy would just get up on stage and he would kill it, just destroy it. You gotta be a showman when you're, when you're delivering a speech. When you're a showman, you exaggerate everything. I mean, it's not normal what you're doing on stage and when you're presenting. So you're basically thinking, okay, what's normal? And let me do the exact opposite. You exaggerate your movements, you exaggerate Everything that you're doing, you just make things bigger. Just like on America's Got Talent, you'll notice that small acts, I mean, just very small acts, uh, even something like a comedian, they don't need all this fancy fire and all this stuff. But if you look at what they do and how they set up the stage, everything is bigger. They have a setting there. They have a nice uh, background, all this stuff. They just make it bigger. That's how you need to think when you're trying to make your presentations way more engaging. Engagement actually starts, and just presentations in general, it starts and ends with you as a speaker, with the way you think. One thing that I notice about a lot of speakers when they want to be more engaging is that they actually hold themselves back. So maybe they're afraid to say something because they think they're going to offend people. Uh, maybe they're, they're shy and they really do have certain things that they want to say, but they just don't actually want to say it. You can't hold yourself back when you're on stage. You can't be that shy person. Your mindset is, this is the most important thing that you guys will ever hear in the world. Even if you're talking about rocks, that's your mindset. That's how you communicate passion when you're actually on stage. You know that what you're gonna say is gonna change their lives forever. When you know it, it shows. Now, one thing a lot of speakers say is they say, oh, I feed off my audience. Wrong. Don't react to your audience. The audience should react to you. They should be feeding off of you and your energy as a speaker. If your audience isn't responsive, it's your fault. But what are some cold, hard facts, some cold, hard ways to actually make your presentations more engaging? This is something that I always do, and it's all about getting interactive. There's a quote from Benjamin Franklin where he says, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. That's why interaction and just making things very interactive, that's the best type of presentation you can give. When you deliver content, people forget. When you tell stories, people remember. But when you get them involved, people never forget. So if you wanna make your presentations more engaging, you have to think in terms of demonstrations. Is there something in your presentation where you can use a demonstration a perfect example of this is Jamie Oliver's TED Talk, where instead of him just talking about sugar, he took this huge barrel and just, just dumped out a ton of sugar and said, this is how much sugar you guys consume in a year. And you're sitting there like, whoa, that's a whole lot of sugar. Think in terms of being interactive by using demonstrations. Once you know what you're going to say, so once you know, oh, I'm gonna talk about sugar, now you think in terms of, is there some type of demonstration I can do to prove this point? How can I turn my words into something physical, something tangible? Another way to make your presentation more engaging is to simply change the pace. You either slow down or you speed up. So you're talking all of a sudden, you can just pause. I do that all the time in my presentations where I start talking 
In fact, there, there's a specific part of my presentation where I start talking and just in the middle, I just, then I kind of just go off and I write something down and, and just all eyes are on me because it's just pure silence. So when you change the pace, people are more engaged. You also want to think in terms of creating a character as well. The best character that you can create, the best stage persona is part you and part something that you want to be. Maybe it's like the hidden or dark side of your personality. Maybe if you're shy, then you can create this character of this really outgoing person on stage that you can imagine yourself to be. Character lets you think about things and do things that you normally wouldn't do. Now I get it. Most people say, oh, I just want to get on stage. I just want to be me and I just want to be me and just be normal. But that's the thing. Being on stage isn't normal. Presenting isn't normal. If you are normal, you're average. If you're normal, you're not gonna be able to keep people's attention. When Michael Jackson was on stage, he wasn't normal. I mean, it would be weird for him to do all that stuff on stage that he would just kinda hang out at the movies and just hee hee. So, I mean, that would just be weird. So when you get on stage, it's not about being normal, it's about being the opposite. It's about figuring out what's not, what, what is normal, and then doing the opposite of that. When you create a character, let's say like James Bond, well, now you start to think differently. You think, okay, James Bond would be pretty cool about this. He'd be Mr. Suave on stage. And, and you start coming up with ideas because you have this character. If you have a character who's, let's say you think, oh, he's really outgoing and he's, he's really hyper. Well, now you start thinking in terms of doing things differently in your presentation. In order to make your presentations more engaging, you have to deliver in a way that people truly understand what you're talking about, especially educational presentations where you're going in and you're making things like really detailed and all that stuff. And the way to do that is to imagine that you're speaking to a little kid and what you're describing to this little kid, it has to be described in a way that this kid understands what you're talking about. Educational speeches are boring because they're too technical. So when you think in terms of describing all this stuff to a little kid, you make things more real. I mean, they can see what it is you're truly trying to do. When Steve Jobs was talking about the iPod, he didn't say oh, all these gigabytes and megabytes and all this stuff. He said a thousand songs in your pocket and bam, you just instantly knew what he was talking about. You also want to think in terms of what ideas can I get from other people? So maybe you see a Vegas show and you see something really cool like in the Michael Jackson Vegas show, the Cirque du Soleil, they do a, a segment where they turn off all the lights and then they're wearing like these, uh, these suits and lights pop up and they're dancing and stuff and all the lights are off while they're doing this and it looks pretty cool. So this is not an idea that you can actually use for maybe one of your presentations. So maybe at a certain point in your presentation you think, okay, I'm going to shut off all the lights and we're going to do something in, in the dark. So think in terms of what are other people doing that capture your attention? What are other people doing that you find engaging? And think in terms of how you can use that in your presentation. It comes down to this. In order to engage, you have to think about what's normal and do the opposite. 